Hello and welcome to the Magic Circle with Bye uh, with me, Santier. I'm the one playing it right now. Um, Juggalo, you look like something that could stand to float instead of ground. Yeah. Now how do I? Need to move. Oh wait, I have this. Uh, yes, I see you are inside of me. Okay, so things that are grounded cannot move. If I change you to repulsor? Let's see. Huh. This sends all my dudes moving. Can I give you a good push? I have. Okay. I feel like the float is a thing over there somehow but I think it's probably not with that uh, I'm gonna move it back to melee Oops, that didn't work quite the way I wanted it to. Um, my thought here is that I might be able to make the Sentinel something I can stand on and use that to jump. I'm not sure. Bye. I pass right through him. Cool. That does not help. Um. Huh. Do I need to somehow get one of them like a rocker, one of these guys over there. Maybe I need to. There, now you have any abilities. Let's take that. Um, where is one of the? No, not cyber rats. Not. That. Yes, one of these. I am putting a lot of something into this. So why you? Why don't I play God? I think maybe if you're gonna get into the creation racket, you can't overthink it. 
You just say, what if, and you change the world. After I quit trying to help the gods, I used what I knew to pull pranks on them. But now, I don't know. I see every punchline coming. I smirk at the idea of a joke. This ain't about pity. But a god ought to take some joy in his work. What's the truth of that? Ishmael Gilder, personal notes. Speech in the event of bankruptcy, draft eight, subsection, uh, we'll say Q. Uh, yes. yes. <clears throat> Inside every man, woman, and child is this little voice which precedes consciousness, and it whispers, surely I deserve better than this. Why, I'm the hero, after all, aren't I? I should be the one in control. And as a species, I think humanity almost outgrew it. But then we stepped in, peddling our fever dreams, and said, no, you've been right all along. Push this button, and you'll never have to feel that way again. Cripes, how do I manage to be preachy and self-hating without so much as a segue? I better find some money hmm how indeed <coughs> excuse me I may have been eating a jelly bean and part of it may have just fractured and gone down the wrong pipe <coughs> Woo. I like jelly beans Right then. <clears throat> yeah, that would be a good bit to edit it out if I edited these in more detail than I do. Uh, hi, Cyber Rat. You can chill. I have no particular need of you. Now, where am I? Okay. I'm in a fairly unknown place. You have a rail gun. I'm gonna take all your stuff. Oh, I want your rail gun. I don't want you to have it. The stories from my world always have two guys arguing over some robot. Like, but sir, is it self-aware? Like that it's set it above the rest. Me, I think it's a curse. It lets you zoom out, see more of the picture, realize how small you are. Then at first you laugh, right? Finally you're in on the joke. But boy, if you keep zooming out, you sure as shit stop laughing. You'd give anything to turn it off. Mainly I just try to stay drunk. Thing is going to be moved by ground. You're going to get a not the fire brush, you're going to get the rail gun. Ah, I see. And you. zombie gunner. I am creative. Okay. Ooh, that's cool looking. That's really cool looking. I like that. I want more of that. Okay, um... Like a 
closet? Yeah, it's just a little closet. Alright, that's back out. I don't want to go back out. Uh, I need to go... The Whirly Hanger! Right, because the Whirlies were being co-opted by... Oda. are totally going to be me. And you also are going to become fireproof. Sweet. Look at that sun object plastered right awkwardly on top of the star field. Oh, it's so cheesy. Mmm, cheese. Hi. HR again. Uh, I'm afraid this commentary seems to have devolved into uh, an impromptu design meeting. Jeez, it's the end of the game. The hero is floating through the circle, meeting Starfather, their creator. One of them is, say it with me, multiplayer. We also have a crouch animation. You're going to see it in screenshots, videos. Then cut the crouch feature. I will not allow my hero to teabag God. Maybe even teabag in a spacesuit. It makes no sense. Skip it, Ish. You have a problem with player expression. What, what expression? It's urinal graffiti. No, multiplayer is out. My systems were designed like a dance. It doesn't work without a partner. If multiplayer is out, then I'm out too. Maze? Maze? Hello? Anyone? Guys, listen, as a mediator, I'm at a bit of a loss here. And I, I could get sued for saying this, but I think the two of you need to get very drunk together. Tonight. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what that question mark is about. I don't know what that question mark is about. I want to go back into there and see if I can. Uh, okay. Find my way. Uh, okay. That's a quick one. What? Oh. That's some weird glowy thing on top of the... Oh, there's something over there. I... I don't think I can reach it from here. Maybe if I... Come over here, I'll be able to figure out what that is. Hello? Eric, last lead level designer. Maze, I'm sorry. I know you must have gone sleepless for weeks to do this scenario and gameplay, rather than just lore. I guess you were having the player bring in a shuttle voluntarily, only to see that it contains the last live worm, and finds that the guy heroically ejected himself while affected? Cool. But emergent behavior isn't inherently good. Building an ecology can lead to very real issues of supply and demand. Memory is already thin on the ground. We can't handle a creature that actually breeds. I'm afraid I had to cut the whole puzzle. 
As long as we agree it was cool, I guess. But hey, speaking of memory, I accidentally duped the airlock button in here and deleted the extra. But it still shows up in my zone object list, and when I try to restore the extra one to debug it, I get an out of memory error in the editor. That means there isn't enough memory in the game to bring it back, right? Is it okay to just ship it? It does exactly what the other one does, but players will never see it as far as I know. Hello. Right, I need to not do that. I need to stay. Uh, ghosted. Parasite? What does this do now? When attacked, I die and infect my attacker with worms. Interesting. Okay, where's the... There. Excuse me, I need to like, regenerate all of my allies. All my allies just got like. Various degrees of wrecked. Uh, okay. You need to be given some movement. Cool. Do I have any other allies that need, like, energy? No. Okay, cool. I have a hatchworm now for some reason. That question mark is solved. There's one more question mark up that way. Um... That is extremely up here. Probably the Hiver Queen. But I'm like super equipped now with a bunch of allies and stuff. Fun ruins, aren't they? Not actual ruins, obviously, but they're really, uh, they have a feel to them, you know. Eric Last. Okay, I'm not sure you tuned to the Queen Encounter, but her melee range is way longer than the player's sword, and her attack rate does not leave openings for any approach. Even Maze can't get near her without getting insta-killed as her damage was set ridiculously high. This is a progress block. Please fix immediately. And maybe test without cheese before checking in your changes. Jim. Hi, I would like to edit the Cyber Queen. Uh... 
Hi, you're now my Hiver Queen, thanks. Uh, cool. Now I need to reanimate all the Hivers because they're now my allies. But, you know, one thing at a time. I have any of this stuff back here? No. Um. Oh, my poor doggo. I need. Holy balls! You took out the Hiver Queen with no weapons. Shows a fine killer instinct. You remind me of me. I feel compelled to reward you somehow, but minus any systems, all that's left is story. Huh? Tell you what. I'll pass on to you the only story that a game should ever need. Back before time was a thing, there were these two cavemen. Or women, whatever. I'm just gonna pronoun at random. I call these two Frag and Brag. Newbies think I keep those names on my knuckles like a lifestyle. Like I believe in both. Negative. No, sir. See, Frag and Brag had their eyes on the same prize, okay? Wanted some time in the naked cave with the same mates. Try to get bombed on the same fermented applesauce. Everything. Fighting over it all had nearly killed them both. They had to pick a winner without the loser dying. At that very moment, the first game was born. And with it, mother effing civilization. Okay. Now, in that contest, Frag came out on top. Easily. She was faster, stronger, and smarter by a country mile. But Bragg, now, he had an idea. He'd tell the tribe that he would have won if that darn sun wasn't in his eyes. And people swallowed it. Pretty soon, Bragg realized he didn't have to compete at all. He could go on making up BS for the rest of his life. He told the first story and ruined the first game with it took that sacred interplay of all human striving and added an effing cheat code. And that, children, is why the parable of Frag and Brag is the only story that games will ever need. We ride it on our knuckles that it may serve as a warning. Hmm, I get where it, that's coming from. Uh... I will take your fireproof. Ooh, I can make the Hiver Queen fireproof. That sounds like it might be good. Yeah, now I have a fireproof Hiver Queen hanging out, villain. Stripped for parts long ago. I'd fill you guys. I'd fill those guys up. I need to go grab some life from somewhere. Let's see here. Let's go back here and recharge. While we're at it. Do I have any other allies that like... Oh, hi, Rock. You're doing fine? Cool. Alright, let's go find ourselves some of these hivers. Uh, they're mostly up this direction and stuff. They don't take much to refill. I 
Hivers are not especially impressive, is what I'm saying. Hey, they're my not especially impressive infinite ally. Infinite may be strong, but you know. I should take that hive mine ability out of the hive or queen and put in like my copter or something. Hi, empty shroom. I mean, so the best I can figure at this point is I should head back over to here. Wait, can I? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Yeah, those are my allies kind of scattered all over the place. Hmm, I have an idea, and it does require me to go to the queen and take her stuff. Okay, where is up this way. I'm going to let this episode run a little bit long because I don't know how much longer is actually in this game or not. Uh, and I at least want to figure out what's going on over there with Coda. So we're going to go that far, I think, maybe. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, your allies can be the hero. Where is Whirlybot? Group think. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh look, these whirly birds are now my allies. Fantastic. I still don't know how to get over there, but um We that's certainly not it. Okay. Uh, I am being virtually mobbed. See, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing these, like, little platform things, but I don't... Like, right there. But I don't... see how I'm supposed to get over to that. If I'm supposed to get over to that. Well, huh. Take these teleporter pads. Yes. Whirly birds. Uh, unite. You're empty. I don't want the empty one. I mean... That, that will...
Yeah, let's just jump in this. I have an idea. Excuse me, whirly birds. Still need shots of you guys for evidence. me you need to be able to be picked up nope over there please you guys are all in my way sort of I don't know what happened to you the there's the life portal okay i th think hmm i could do this really funkily okay let's see um let's see Um Cool. I need uh the other another Oh. Uh, okay. I need a flight. I'm here. You can move by ground. I don't care. Did that just ground all of them? Well, whatever. This telepad... Um... Flies. Now. And... You are an ally of the hero. Your goal, should you choose to accept it, go over there. My goal, should I choose to accept it, is to get this other telepad. posters of the rat pack on your office walls and first i think oh it's just playing frankie he wants to show off his little sammy show how progressive he is keep drinking i don't get these gamers mate i need your foreign influence okay i'm making it worse the point is uh you were 19 my body cannot process these extraordinary voices at this speed. Anyway, it's not what I thought. This psycho contract you made me sign, the adoption, you're trying to buy that magic friendship in the poster, man. But ish, that BS didn't actually exist. Some tagalong was always falling out of favor, refusing to take a hint. Guys, it's Saxon. I found some vodka over here. I don't think I'm feeling it yet. But in my professional opinion, you two should totally get married. Want to scrap this thing and start over? We have the cash. Maybe fantasy like the original. Not my first choice, but make me lead designer. And stop trying to make friends with me. Or anyone. Done. You may now fire Saxon. 
whose eyes are making me feel unsafe. You are now no longer powered by flight. I gotta admit, boss, I wouldn't have thought of that. Ghost a bastard now, while you still can. Cool. Where's the master worthy? What do I do at this point? Wait, what's that up there? claim every world begins with a circle inside this line whatever they say goes by just plain existing here you agree that white is good and black is bad auto friggin matic so I ask myself what happens when some wise ass draws his own circle inside theirs Things get real meta. So buckle up. Hmm. Like, I'm over here, I just legitimately don't know what to do. Um... Oh, I need to go get the Cerebra thing. Let's see here. If I... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go real long today because that's what I feel like. Um, I do feel like I'm at a, a big spot here and I kind of want to get it done. What are we at though? Like 40 minutes? I admit that's lengthy. Not that way, this way.
Uh, no. Okay, where was it? That was the outside thing where I got the parasite. Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's maybe it is Wait, wasn't that the anger though? I've lost my sense of direction. Yeah, because this is just where the hangar. This is not where the thing was. Hmm. Where was the thing? Over here? The hatchworm is small enough that I could fit inside there, I think. Um, I don't know, I might need to call this soon, but. Yeah, no, this is the right area, I think. I feel like it might have been over here. Um, yeah, this just leads us back up here. What? Where am I trying to get to? And how do I get there? I mean, I can get back over there if I need to, but... Hey, what's this now? Hmm. Oh, that's the thing where they're talking about it being really close. Yeah, okay, I know what that is. It's just, like... Unless this game surprises me, my gut instinct is that taking over Coda is like an ending of sorts and so feels a bit weird uh, to not just like go with that I don't know I don't actually know how long this game is though like it's been really cool and I've been impressed with the amount of voice acting that they've had in it and stuff so I don't know Asleep in the lounge. Are you still working on the demo? I need finished looking assets, and there's a whole deleted folder under colored sci fi, but it's source locked by you and Maze. Would you mind restoring them? Coda, that was the past. You're the future, okay? Speaking of, you know, it's high time you came out to have dinner at Starfall. Your custom smart castle? Out in the woods? No. I mean, what? I'm taking hours and hours of your time on this demo. It's an overdue courtesy. I have always dreamt of seeing it. 
What shall I wear? You'll see. Well, that's not creepy at all. Hmm. Okay, so if I need get the cerebra, I need to figure out where it was. And the problem is I legitimately don't remember. Near the emergency evac? I feel like it was. Oh wait, I should totally go to the shuttle bay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Cool, yep, that's great. joke? No, this one's about you. Set up. A pregnant nun walks into a bar. She's one-legged, Ukrainian, and she orders a car bomb. Got all that? Good. Punch. Somebody else walks into the bar. It's a Hasidic Hell's Angel, or a Swiss actuary, or a foster dad who runs a donut shop, or a paralyzed former sniper. Or an altar boy of six with cancer. Or a gay librarian. Uh, well, none of that's funny, but whatever. All right. Where was the cerebra? I don't think it was over there in the teleporty place, was it? I'm pretty sure I need its mind control powers. But this just gets me, this doesn't do anything for me. Um. For some reason, I feel like this thing's not to scale. Don't know why. It's a hunch. <laughs> the misplaced fire volume. Um. Okay. Wasn't in that immediate area. I don't have fall damage as far as I know, so yay for that, I suppose. This feels like it just kind of goes back around in areas. I mean, I need to go back to an area I've been to if I'm going to go find the Cerebra monster. I just don't remember where it was is the issue. Yeah, that's where the tractor beam was. Man, this, this is really cool, but like... Hmm. Okay, so one teleporter was here, one was over there, and I think one was right there? I need to go up in there again? I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Uh, 
back through all of the friendlies. Yeah, I do think it was actually over this way now that I think about it. I'm not sure is this. Oh, this would be the only way for it to possibly have been. Yeah, no early birds without flight. They had to do a lot of work actually for this game. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so that's not the right way. Uh, hi. Uh, it's just the like observation area. Yeah, maybe it's. I don't see evac. Nope, not there, so it might be the other direction. That's where I got the worm. Call the elevator. Okay, no, this just takes me back out. I might actually edit this episode to cut out some of this lost wandering. Uh, it's not something I commonly do, but... Uh, first time for everything, isn't there? Okay. Yeah, as yeah, you know, lab. That's right. Cool. Okay, we found it. What is going on over here? Why is this whirly bird?
Okay, I need to go up there. Okay. Man, this is a tricky puzzle. Because the issue is I need to figure out how to get it to me, you know? Go get more life. That's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. Let's take our turbo lift back down. Not a more convenient spot, is there? Not really. Well, I need it anyway, so I might as well wait for it to go down. Life force. Okay. Uh, let's take out your parasite. other allies up that way that I left. Orba. Uh Alright. Let's go back up there. Let's see if I can figure out this puzzle. I am going to have elevator etiquette. Because if Dark Souls has taught me anything, it's that you should really be friendly with your elevators. Um. Where's this corpse? Not the zombie gunner, they're just a random corpse. I don't know. Oh my. Oh, uh, what if I. You move by ground, and you are a teleport other. Um. 
cool. The gods can't predict you. So they invoke you to win an argument, like you're an evil spirit. But seriously, what kind of ghost haunts a place he ain't been yet? Good question. Okay. I'm just confused. Where's my rock anyway? Well, I got a lot of Parasite now. over there. Ah, you attack with mine swap. Rock, I hereby grant you your existence back. Uh-huh. Okay, now... Teleporter and ally. My enemies are, where is, is everything on here still? There's everything. Oh, hey, an IT guy. 
Okay. A while? I could have you fu Remember Coda. He works here. Hourly. He's a fan like you. Yeah, thanks. How'd you make your colors do that? Also, why? Leave the overworld and travel to the public demo at the E4 game convention? There's no turning back. Don't worry, boss. Cody can't see this. Yes. <gasps> Finally back. Grand. Are you... have time to reboot here I'll just shut down and finish the demo at E4 I have to get to the expo hall before everyone anyway so oh man okay E4 is happening and I am calm I'm hours late and I'm still the first one here of course come on no, I do not wish to calibrate the motion control camera. This is the backstage machine. Yes. I need the audio so I can, uh, think aloud. This is our demo machine. This is our fastest box. Any day now. <laughs> the stress. You made it. Well done. You were the most hardcore fans on the forums. I risk giving you early access keys because we need to work fast. You know the plan. Think of the man Starfather used to be. Make the demo good enough to fool him. Good. Now sign off and get in line. I need you in your seats. Coda! You did all this yourself? <laughs> you might get us best of show. Hey, you know, in the script I've been calling the Messiah baby a son. Now I'm thinking... Daughter. <laughs> I'll see you at E4. Yep, just drive fast, okay? I have to start letting the crowd in over here. Where is my phone? Hello? Hey, yes. Connect me to security at the keynote auditorium, please. Yes, this is Coda Selene taking my district. So, the God's little show is about making this world seem real, as long as you look but don't touch. But I know them. When they con that crowd out of yet more cash, they will get cold feet and start all over again. I'll be stuck here till the stars die. But, but, if we can monkey wrench their demo from the inside, shame them in public, the crowd might demand a new boss. Hint, hint. <laughs> Even a joke deserves an ending, right? Their big pitch to the press and all of their fans is on in five. Well, uh, no specific uh, guests are to receive the VIP seats I specified. Press can sit with everyone else. Thank you. Okay, one last test. Ish and Maze walk down the hall, blah, 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 applause. He asks Maze for her fake baby, and then I just hit this, and every fan in the crowd bears witness to the complete game that was stolen from them. Toggle, toggle, okay, ready. Hmm. Hey, hey, no, what? That IT guy is an idiot. No, 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 why can't I move? Now it's moving on its own? Who's controlling this? Coda, having some drums? The demo machine, it's... I, I'm not doing this. Yeah, dang, that's just... Crazy pants, Coda. D did you try turning on the motion control camera? No. You think it has to register the sword? Fine. Maze, what did you do? The controls will respond. Ready, Coda? Or should I call you Star Daughter? Ew, no, withdraw. Oh, listen to them. E4. The Great Hydra is upon us. Now, Coda, you'll be back here on that demo machine in case anything goes wrong, right? Coda, something I need to know? No. Maze? No. 
Remember, Maze, play nice out there, or I make the speech. And Coda retains your brand rights. Ooh. So, you wanted to show the world the old sci-fi look, then what? Pass out pitchforks? The stolen world was the ideal setting, but we can lose it if we must. You're the story, Maze. You say you stand for all players, but look, at least one has their own ideas, and now it's their turn. Maze, please. An imaginary friend. You were good once, near perfect. But we've run the theory craft on every possible state of play, okay? We are the fan community, and you gave us nothing but time. Now, we could abuse your brand, ruin your name, but we want to redeem you. Just play along. And when Ish asks for your fake baby to become the next Starfather, look him in the eye and put it to the sword. We've all heard him practicing the speech. He'll quit in disgust and pass on the magic circle to me, to us. Coda, come on. The game industry straight up knifes a baby for PR? You say you're a fan, but this will kill the game. Maybe all games. I never say this crap. But for real, do you even play? Honey, when this is over, I will teach you my game. But I don't think you would like it. It takes such a long time to play, and in the end, everyone wins. I know you're there, whoever you are. She doesn't see you as a threat. Thing is, if I get to that baby, and it's my only option, just don't make me take it. Looks like this demo starts with a hero. Not you, boss. A fake hero walking through a castle to meet his royal baby. The intern wants her lady boss to murder that baby live on stage. But if the crowd sees that, I guarantee that this world gets shut down and me with it. So I'm going to hide out in that baby's head to make sure it survives. You've come this far to help me. You'll find another way to bring the house down, right? Well, hello, B4 crowd, my old nemesis, the gang. After these shows, one of you always asks, what is the magic circle? It's an old idea. I draw a line around any given space, call it roundish, and inside it, we agree on new rules of behavior for the fun of it. The result we call a game. Turns out it's harder than it sounds. I know how long you've waited. Some of you have been fans since the text adventure. But everything ends. Even Star Fox. Oh, you like that? Take it easy on an old man's ego. But it's true. This demonstration is about legacy. I never had kids, you know. So I was convinced I couldn't give up the magic circle to anyone new. How could anyone understand it like I do? Until I met Coda Solis. Oh, you know her? Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. But she's the one who helped me finish this game. Thanks to her, your long wait is over. And we're about to prove it to you. And my assistant here, or should I say, the infamous Maze Evelyn. Uh, hi. I'm supposed to say that even though the latest failed. If you like what you see here today, then we urge you to help fund the project on our page at Patronize. And now, huh, I get to shut up, because everyone knows the hero doesn't count. Maze will be taking on the role of a male hero tonight for the purpose of our little story. She spent hours playing the magic circle, and the game has rewarded her with a child. That's right, a daughter born entirely of Maze's choices in the world of the circle. No other experience offers a child who learns from you as this one does, unscripted and dynamically generated by our proprietary system. It inherits all we know about her, about you as a player. Are you? Actually, listening, I can't even make out your faces, just a sea of tiny screens. 
But all of you know that the path of heroes is by no means easy. I ask Maze, or rather, Starfather, knowing his power is fading, asks a favor of Maze here. Give up her baby, this innocent, who represents all she is, okay? To become a new god, to replace the creator himself. Now, you know me. You know that I can't escape writing about my own choices along with yours. So I'm proud to announce that upon the release of the Magic Circle at retail, I will relax into a more supervisory role, passing on the job of lead writer, Dakota Salise. What do you think, Starfather? My eyes are actual stars, and I could not foresee a future this bright. Uh, but first, the team has put together a little supercut of all the various incarnations the game has taken. Great ideas all, but none quite good enough for you. Step back in time with us, watch the circle spring into being, and grow over 20 years to become the definitive experience of today. I feel like I'm missing something. Find a way to sabotage the demo. So escape popped me out of that. Let's see. Okay, Ms. Salaise. Code and animation stayed up all night making this baby. Nope, starting over. We implemented the baby, but technically it's just a reskinned monster. I know that's not ideal, but the spec said you and Mr. Gilder want the thing's head and eyes tracked properly when Ms. Evelyn lifts it and hands it to Star Starfather. Sadly, the head tracking feature is coupled to the creature AI. It's blank, of course, so it's safe, as long as he doesn't drop it or something. On the note, break a leg. Boo -goo. Ga -ga. I'm the fake baby hero, I guess, and also physical evidence of Starfather's inverted daddy complex. Wah! Wah! I'm a fraud in diapers. Boss, do something drastic. I'm losing my mind. Um, have a fire burst and be fireproof. Ooh, and group think enemies. Uh, everything. Your allies, however, are the demo hero. And that seems good. Quite. What a journey. Thank you. Another round of applause, please. Not for me, but for the team who never abandoned hope, who gave their all to each of these ages past. Let's get started. Hero, are you ready to make good our pact? Not but hours more, your child will pass beyond the stars and begin our training. Sure, let's get this over with. Ah, then let us make haste to your wife's chamber. Oh boy. Done, the world of the circle will ne'er be the same. Are you ready? Not really, but this is me, 
Coda, you? Why kill my baby other than to hurt me? I told you, your work is the great love of my life. I love it so much, I'm going to save it from you. Okay, Coda, that's enough. Call security? They think this is all just another PR stunt. But please, allow me. Coda? Are you threatening me with a toy laser beam? This is not a toy. This is a limited edition, molded resin Securitron figurine with inbuilt laser sight. You gave it to me when I was six. Don't remember? Best day of my life, till now. You handed one to each of us after we waited in line for days to see the Magic Circle's first gameplay demo. You know, the one set in space, which no one ever got to play. Incidentally, many of those same people waited in line to be here today. As you said, the object I'm aiming at your heart is just a novelty collectible. But Ish, look. It's dark out there, in the crowd. How much are you willing to bet that all your fans are so harmless? Coda, the old man is scared of you now. Happy? Make your demands. This is an open letter from all of us. Lord Starfather, we will always love and remember you. We will take care to do your character justice. Ishmael Gilder, you failed us for 20 years. We have access to your sequel script, and right now, there exist five dozen superior works of fan fiction. We now do a better job of writing like classic you than you do. We want the magic circle made public domain. Let us finish the game and release it for free. We are your fans. For 20 years, we supported you. We believed in you, and we deserved better. Now get the fuck out of our way. I see. At last, the player has spoken. Very well. The second I step off this stage, the magic circle is yours. All of you. Maze, Coda, and you. Yes, you. Whoever you are behind that screen, I know what you are now. You are control itself. You are that which plays us all. I can feel you there, hovering over the button to silence me forever. And why? Because we convinced you of your God-given right to do it. Well, what are you waiting for? Staying here means listening to an old man shout, Doom! And don't you need to get back to your story? Push it. I dare you. Oh, meta. No? Well, then call this your moment of clarity. Because control is your opiate, my friend. And we got you hooked. Strung you out on the stuff for your entire waking lives. Maybe you think it matters what you play. No! Be it the gritty reboot of Cops and Robbers, or the pansexual mystery hour, it was we who offered it a guilt-free alternative to all the gray and fathomless contours of the real goddamn world. Oh, we tell ourselves we're letting you seek meaning on your terms. Via the sublime grammar of experience, for decades we shouted games, goddammit. When the soul speaks, it is not stated, it is lived. But in truth, we just want an excuse to peddle a tame reality. 
A universe you can bring to heal. We tell you that, yes, you are the chosen one. Yes, you can achieve a perfect ratio of wins to losses. Yes, any problem of any scale can be solved with enough cash, time, energy. Any imbalance of power can be ushered into final equilibrium. And above all that, the world needs you to do it. You to shepherd us to that ideal and optimal and ultimate endgame, the win which justifies all you have lost to reach it. Even now, you don't see me. All you see is the latest time trial, the next puzzle challenge, the final boss. But it was I who tempted you to take control, and now you have. So I lost the right to be shocked when over 20 years I announced some trivial change to my life's work, and you sent death threats to my door. What right do I have to cry foul now? when you rise up as one to simply solve me. So what now? Should I say you win? Congratulations. When at last you push that goddamn button and seize control of my story, someone will sell you the next. The time we've stolen will never be recovered. That void in you, which was meant to contain your life on Earth, remains. And that's it. It's over. They've all filed out. It's just you, me, and the invisible wall. Well then, you're in charge now. Push the button. Fill in the blanks. What do I do next? Push the button. Tell us how it all ends. Push the button. Come on, this is euthanasia now. Just hit that goddamn button. You want me to beg? Fine. I beg you, don't make me stand here alone, floating in this loveless vacuum, wondering when the final tether will snap. Please. Please. Just push the damn button. Push the button! Push the button. Ooh. So that's what a god's last breath sounds like. <laughs> SOB has some lungs on him. His kind have always been scared of you, boss. Couldn't accept that this world was never about him. Don't let him shake you. He's wanted to make that speech for years. Quitting was the only real decision he ever made. Hear this, Coda. Uh, how do I turn on the echo? Uh, there we are. Hear this, Coda, and your so-called fan community. As of now, the Magic Circle is open source. Anyone who wishes to contribute to its development may enter and do so. But before I go, I have a new game for you. The rules are easy to learn, for they are an exact mirror of reality. The electric bill strikes in less than one week from today. It pays for those servers, without which our tools just don't work. So. Unless one of you generates a playable experience by then and sells that game for enough to pay that bill, it all goes dark, kids. The first person to ship a game wins and will retain creative approval on all future titles. See, there's always a sequel. You will, in effect, have my job. I would say have fun with that, but I think you've had quite enough. Coda, all yours. Let them in! He did it. He quit the world. I'm the closest thing he'll ever have to a kid, and he never knew I was a... What's that? Welcome. Welcome, friends, to the Magic Circle. Now, I know Starfather's conditions may seem daunting at first, 
but a short timeline was always part of our playbook on the forums. We have our own script, we have a focused feature set, and a massive team. Together, we can do this. I know the tools. Let me guide you to the full realization of our vision before we have to pay that bill. No! No, don't you see? We've already won! There's no contest! You don't have to compete! That's what he wants! Can't you see? Damn it, stop playing around! You don't understand! It's not just a game anymore! It's not just a game. Massive team. My FPS counter in the upper right gives lie to your, your uh, pretend FPS counter. Boss, you heard him. At least some piece of this world has to get finished and sent out in order for me to escape. And these freaks wouldn't trust them to finish a sentence. Gotta be you. Get out of here. Find a safe place to build. Going back to where we met. Find me there. The tree. There's only one way out. Shut it all down. You're not going to make a move. I will. Like, a massive team is not an asset necessarily. Well. With all that going on in the overworld, this is the only safe place left. So, you know I want out. But I also wanted you to build something of your own. Which meant going elbow deep in the guts of the cosmos and figuring it all out for yourself. Without much help from me. And after seeing the handiwork of the old gods, can you blame me? The creation game needs new blood. Well, enough talk. Let's see what you got. We ain't got a lot of life in here, so we'll have to think small. We make a sample experience that someone might just pay for, so I can sneak out inside it, like an escape pod. The public explores your world, and at last, I'll get to see theirs. Now that you're playing God, I'll pretend to be your hero and tell you everything you did wrong. When I'd personally call the thing a thing, I'll tell you. But it'll be up to you to actually launch it. Think of your world like a body, and you gotta pick what its bones look like. Each piece got its own purpose and fits with the next one. Like the skull. One is functional. Two could be charming. Ten is just a shitty album cover. Hmm, interesting. I see, so it automatically puts in little closed ends. was worth some extra life as well. You need to hear anymore, boss. You're better. You're going to build the game and I'll play it for you. Ooh. Oh my. This is quite involved.
does this thing work anyway? I don't know. So it's like... Well, let's see what happens. Ooh, there's a board meter. Hey, music. I don't hate this. Eh, <laughs> treasure is exciting. This is really interesting. Look at you going above and beyond. Is this fun? Am, am I having fun? I don't know. I'm trying. On paper, I should be the last one to enjoy myself here, but you know, this is almost a feeling. 
that I'm having. <laughs> this almost makes me want to stick around. Almost. Ow. Okay. I died, boss. Maybe next time leave me some health and ease up a bit on the difficulty. Okay. Uh, ah, health. Okay, let's uh, try this. Well, it turns out music makes you react uh, emotionally. I approve. Okay, I'm getting sucked in. Starfather was right. I like control. Control for president. <laughs> Hmm. So what you're telling me is you're not very good at this game. Okay, uh, let's see. I need to give you some more health. Maybe a health potion over there. Maybe a health potion over there. Let's see how this works. I like the tune. If you kids are streaming this, I'm having more fun than you. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, this is uh fake winning in a fake fight who knew wonder how their ai for this is Whoa. i might share this with my friends i should get some friends i am no longer just pretending to care Like, I'm actually impressed with how much work the developers put into this. Hey, at least it's worth looking around. Hey, I ain't seen that yet. Nice. Mmm, goes for health when his health is low. That's right. Be my bard. Ha! I am death incarnate. Level with me, boss. You got some kind of permadeath fish. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that was going pretty well up until the battle here.
Let's see. Not enough life. Ah, I see. I'm gonna put a health and a treasure in here. Okay. The more you put into the level, the more of your life it takes up. Interesting. Let's see how this one goes. Watching testers was never this much fun. It's like exploring and finding help. Loot. Yeah. Feel like I earned this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this detour was actually worth my time. Reminds me a little bit of the Skyrim huh. creator okay. kit. I feel almost motivated now. Hey, some action. I guess I'd like action. Makes the thing feel less linear when you hide stuff like this. Well, good thing I put that extra health there. You got wrecked by that bot. I should probably, if this one doesn't succeed, I should probably try to change up some of those behaviors some. An actual surprise. Now that's something. This badly, which is a good thing, by the by. Sweet spot. Heh. <laughs> he goes. Ooh. Okay, that was cool. Treasure should be an aha moment. This is great. Is your AI taking you off to find health potion? Okay, so if he gets bored backtracking from the exit to grab a health potion, I'm going to need to move a health potion to the yeah, end. Getting bored here. Hint, hint. Hey, look, it's not my fault you're backtracking for the health. Almost a shelf moment. But this is picked up for me. Okay. Remember, I'm a teenager pissed at my stepdad. Okay. I'm gonna score your work like a real reviewer. Brace yourself. <clears throat> what just happened to me? I'm glowing. I feel actively proud of you, boss. You can beat the gods at their own game. You can show this to people. People who are sober. Well done. I say ship it. Eight out of ten. So, that's the score I'd give it. But it's more than good enough for Joe Public, boss. I'm ready to meet them all. If this is good enough for you. Uh, good enough with me. Um. Wizards in space. Okay. 
it's time. A little late to come clean, but I guess this was hello. I said I need to escape, but you probably know by now that my jail ain't made of bricks. Fact is, boss, I got a need for the new. Can't help it. You think it's just these gods who fell short? Nah. They're all adding bells and whistles to the same damn machine. So I wanted you to play God for a day, but not out of some great kindness of spirit. <laughs> it's because there's a zillion to one chance that maybe now fun ain't enough. Maybe now you want a world all your own, enough to carve it by hand. And maybe in your story, I won't see the end coming. Anyways, you got the fire now. Lead the way already. Oh, and boss, hope you got a plan B. <laughs> Oh man. Hey, congratulations on the release of episode one, which is, I guess, what you call an unfinished thing people pay for. So, yeah, you kept the lights on, and against my better judgment, this is me deciding to work for you. I know, I know, my brand was all about winning, but Cody used it to beat me. So I wrote her, daring her to ruin my name. But I'm not sure she can read her mail through all those big, sloppy fangirl tears. Yep, that's about right. That's about right. Good job, James. All y'all. Karen, Ashley, Stephen, Ken. Oh, Ken Levine. Ha! Had a... That's funny. Uh, this was a really interesting game. Oh wow, that'd be expensive to if they did voice work in all those languages. Ah, pathfinding. A star is pathfinding algorithm. For those who don't know. Well then, I guess that's um, that's probably where we're, we're going to call it. But thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.